It's another class with David. Welcome back, guys. We have been away, busy as busy can be, but we're here for another class. And I thought I would just, we're going to go back to basics. One of the things that a lot of players and dealers ask me about is, are basic mechanics, the combat. We're going to talk about the combat today. It's going to be all about the combat. We're going to start with the player side of the combat. And then we're going to switch and we're going to do the student side of the combat. And the student side of the combat will include how they're paid, hand mechanics, the order of things, where the combats are placed, that kind of thing. Although there'll be some of that on the player side too, so bear with me. So this is going to be all about combats, how to make them, how to build them, how to win money at them maybe. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's first get, get one thing out of the way and uh, let's get over the pass line bet because the combat is it really a pass line bet except later in the game okay so when we're coming out we're looking for a new number okay it's either the first shooter or the shooter's coming out to his first roll or maybe the shooter made a pass uh but needless to say the the puck is here it says off it's sitting in the don't come bar and the person is shooting the dice and they want 7 11 to win on the pass line 2 3 12 loses on the pass line. And by the way uh i'm sitting here at what we call our proby table um, on our old stratosphere layout that the stratosphere was the strat now it was so kind to give us and we have dealer kits with professional speed felts just for you so those of you out there who really want to practice you can go to shopcasinoquest.com you can pull up our craps kits and you can either buy just the layout or you can buy the layout with checks and the puck and all those things uh, and we make that available to you and we have curated some fantastic uh, layouts. So they're professional grade, scratch resistant, spill resistant, all that shit, uh, all that stuff. Smokes. It's on uh, shopcasinoquest.com. Just thought I'd throw that out there because uh, it makes a difference. Uh, all of our felts are completely washable, so you just throw them in the wash uh, and they're reusable over and over and over again. And uh, there we go. Okay, back to uh, combat. So combat's uh, so here, let's, we're starting with the pass line bet. So pass line, 7-11 wins, 2-3-12 loses. Any other number becomes your point, right? And this big button is right here, and that's the hint for, hey, guess what? I need a 9 before 7. Or I need a 10 before 7, 8 before 7, whatever the case is. So let's do this. I just happen to have two dice. Let's roll them. 7 a winner on the pass line. Take the notes and pay the line. That would be a winner. So you would get paid on a pass line when this puck was off. Let's roll it again. A nine. Look at that. Genius. We're out on the point of nine. Now, hint, hint, need a nine before seven. So the win-loss condition changes. That's all. When you look at a craps table, everything is its own bet. That's how you put it all together. So everything has a win-loss condition all its own. This pass sign is connected to this puck always. That's game number one. Now, if you want to start a new game, you would go ahead and put some money in the cub. Okay, now I'm taking the money off, obviously off of my checks here. Let's let's get a stack out for the player. So we'll see me just taking the money off of the player's checks instead. Because obviously as a dealer, I wouldn't be setting up bets to my player unless I was in cahoots with my player. Maybe we were meeting in the parking lot later, but we don't advocate any of that stuff. So here we go. Game number one is on the nine, right? And now this same player has elected to start a new game by putting money in the cum. The same win-loss condition that applied to the pass line on the come-out roll is now applied to this come bet. 7-11 wins, 2-3-12 loses, right? Any other number, and then they have a new game on that number. This win-loss is still connected to the 9. 9 wins, 7 loses. That's it. Every bet has its own win-loss condition, okay? So here it is. I'm just going to roll the dice quickly. Nine again, that's a winner on the pass line. Take the don'ts, pay the line. There are no don'ts. We're going to go ahead. The line is going to win. And this come bet now goes to nine. Okay? So that's actually a really good example, a good teaching moment. So we're coming out. This bet needs now a 7 11. When the puck is off, any money on the pass line needs 7 11 to win, 2 3 12 to lose. Okay? However, this bet still needs a nine it's literally on the nine you can see the money placed here right on the nine nine wins seven loses and that's it okay 
Now the other thing to keep in mind is once you get paid somewhere, you can go ahead and pick that money up, put it in your rack, you can stack it, do whatever you want with it, you can pick all of it up if you'd like. But once we have a number, once the game is active, this is a, called a contract bet, meaning that you can't reduce or remove any money on the pass line. Now the don't pass is essentially exactly the opposite. We're going to get to that later. That's going to be another video. Now because this money is still on the 9 and still is a game on a 9, this is what we call a flat bet. The dealer refers to this first even money bet as a flat bet, and this is now a contract bet with the casino. So you can't say to the dealer, take my 9 down. You can with a place bet, that's a whole different bet. What we're dealing with are come bets and pass line bets, okay? So this come bet now is a contract bet. You cannot remove it, it's always working, and that means you need a 9 before 7 to win. So let's say I was to roll a 7. We're just going to go ahead and fabricate the dice. Roll a 7, the dealer is going to pay me on the pass line, but this is going to lose because I still needed a 9 before 7. And again, every bet is its own thing. It sounds simple and redundant, but that's how dealers kind of put this game together. The rest of it is all about orders of operations. When a dealer looks out on the board and sees all the bets, as long as they consider that every bet has its own win-loss condition, and then they follow the order of operations that plays out, the game's easy. It's just that easy. All right, let's keep going here. All right, so again, we're back on the pass line. This is on the DC bar. New shooter, yo 11. That's a winner on the pass line. Take the don'ts and pay the line, okay? We're gonna roll again. We'll roll again. Three craps, a ace, dose, the line away, don'ts to pay. The line loses, okay? So on the come out roll, pass line loses when this is off. Let's do this again. I know this is a combat lesson, but seven a winner on the pass line. Take the don'ts, pay the line. All right, let's get a number here. Four, a heart wave, 22, says you do. Dill is going to mark the four, and now the point is on four. So the pass line now, once this is on, always connected to the puck, okay, the pass line. The game, the main game is on the four, and then if a player wants to elect to start a new game, they bet in the come. So essentially the come is like the pass line, but on the next roll of the dice. So again, 7-11 wins, 2-3-12 loses, right? The win-loss condition on the pass line, 7 loses, 4 wins. Now we're going to move into the next stage of this game, and for that we're going to just fabricate the light. So let's say we roll a 6. The deal is going to go ahead and move your come bet onto the 6, which is, by the way, come bets are also referred to as moving bets because they move along around the table, and the dealer provides full service for these bets up to a point okay now once you're on a number then you could take odds on the come bet just like you would take odds on the pass line bet exactly the same so for example if your casino says you could take two times odds or 2x that means on the four or any number you could take up to twice double your odds okay so double your flat bet so if you have five you could take ten odds really that simple okay if you have 10 times odds, it's 10 times on every number. So 5 times 10, you could take up to 50 odds. A lot of Stacy casinos, for example, some boy properties, 10 times odds, some properties in local communities as well. Now, here in Vegas and, and in many places, they have what's called 3, 4, 5 times odds. And that just means 3 times your flat, 4 times your flat, 5 times your flat. And if you're wondering why, it's because it helps the dealer quantify the payouts and odds. It helps the casino quantify the, the payouts and odds. And it allows for sort of an even baseline of payout activity. So, 3, 4, 5 refers to 3 times on the 4 and 10, 4 times on the 5 and 9, and 5 times on the 6 and 8. If you take maximum odds every time with the same flat bet, you'll get, you'll get paid the same amount of money using three, four, five times odds, okay? So let's look at that really quick, and then I'm going to show you what they pay. So for example, we have a $5 pass line here, which essentially is a come bet, but it's on the pass line on the come out roll, okay? So you could take three times your flat bet because it's on the four. And then, and you would put these odds, by the way, a little bit further back. You'll notice that dealers will take the odds and push them back to allow room for the dice to flow. Um, so you could take three times odds. Now, if you have a come bet that goes to the five, 
you could take four times odds. So you could throw down four red chips for every one red chip, right? So you have $5 flat, you could throw $20. Now with the six, you can throw five times odds. And when you take when you take odds, you would put it right in the cum, right replacing where your cum bet was. Okay, so wherever your cum bet was, and Gills will always tell you, you bet your cum bet right in front of your bet, but in the cum. So in this case, this is the customer we're talking about. They would put all their cum bets right here in front of them, and then the dealer would then move it onto the bet. And then what, if you wanted odds, if you put the odds in the exact same position, the dealer will know that you want odds from the bet. In fact, many times the dealer will just ask, are those odds? And you just say yes, and, and you move forward. Okay, so here we have 25 times odds. Remember, five times your odds. So every red gets a green on the six and eight in terms of odds, okay? Now let's look and see what they pay. Now we already know four and 10 sister numbers, five and nine sister numbers, six and eight sister numbers. So they have the same payback, okay? Now on the four and 10, the odds pay two to one. Every one chip you put in back is gonna pay you two chips, two to one. The reason for that is there are six ways to make a seven, three ways to make a four, six over, uh, over three, and two to one, okay? So if a four is rolled again, the dealer is gonna pay you $30 for your 15 and $5 for your flat bet because anything on the pass line, the contract bet pays even money, so you would get $35. Now, if the five hits, okay, there are six ways to make a seven, four ways to make a five or a nine, Six over four is also three over two. It plays like old blackjack, three to two. So 20 or four red chips will get six red chips. Every two will get three. Two units of two, here's two units of three. Uh, six red chips is otherwise known as $30, plus five for the flat bet, $35. You remember earlier, $35, look at this, $35. $35, okay? Very easy. So dealers, there's all sorts of keys, by the way, that dealers have to help pay these and just make their job really easy, especially if you take full odds. You don't have to take full odds. You could take 10 odds. You could take 12 odds, 15 odds, 16 odds, all sorts of things, all the way up to 20. You just have to take the minimum up to whatever the maximum is. So for now, we're just gonna play three, four, five. It's very easy, two times odds, 10 times odds, those are, uh, those are odds are very easy, obviously. Uh, you just go double your, your flat bet, 10 times your flat bet, this kind of thing, but three, four, five times odds. Now, on the six and eight, the odds pay six to five because six ways to make a seven, five ways to make a six, so six over five. So this, the odds pay 30, every green gets a red, and then you get one red for the bottom of the flat bet, again, $35. So you notice that this same player with $5 flat and max odds in a three, four, five game got $35 payback for every single bet. And by the way, the odds are called true odds. They pay exactly what they're supposed to pay. There's no theoretical win for the casino and most casinos give you zero comp value for the odds. So this bet right here on the six, 25 odds with five flat, is a $5 player. If you were literally at the casino for four hours, you would be rated as a $5 player for four hours, not a $30 player for four hours, which is one of the takeaways and, and often missed uh, realities of playing dice, okay? So keep that in mind, all right. So let's get a game and let's look at how these commits move. So we've come out on the four, we go ahead and take maximum odds, which again is three times, four times, five times your flat bet. If I were to have $10 on the pass line, I could take $30 for odds, okay? Uh, so there you go. And of course the 10 would pay even money. Now, once I have a point, remember this is a contract bet, I can't take this money, I can't take away uh, or reduce. I could theoretically add to this, but that would be silly. Any money you would want to add, you want to put behind your flat bet. Okay, so that's what they call taking odds, put it behind your flat bet. All right, so for our purposes, let's go ahead and take single odds. Maybe we're not that frisky today. We don't have a huge bankroll. We've been grinding out on the choppy game, and that's what we got. We have $10 on a pass line, $10 odds. 
and we want to start a new come bet, we go ahead and put it right in front of our other bet. And now we're starting a new game in the come. 7 11 wins, 2 3 12 loses. Let's say, for example, a 5 is rolled. Okay. We go ahead and put our odds directly behind where that comeback got paid, and we could take single odds, double odds. If this is a $5 table, we could have $10 here, and we could take $5 odds if we wanted to. We don't have to take, all we have to do is meet, meet the minimum bet on the table. Now, a lot of dealers will tell you on the five and nine, you want to take odds in even units because every two pays three. So every even unit pays the odd unit. If you don't take, if you take an odd unit, let's say I took only $5 odds, the odds are only going to pay $7.50 or $7 on a crafts table because there's no 50 cent pieces, no quarters. If you get a blackjack on a $5 bet, in many cases at a regular casino, they have 50 cent pieces to give you, but they don't have them on a dice game. So you would lose out on the 50 cent. Trust me, the casino rounding down. So that 50 cents is out. But let's say for our purposes, the person said, hey, give me six odds on the five. Okay, there you go. Now, if you hit another five, guess what? You're going to be paid $10 on the flat bet, and six is going to pay like blackjack on six, which you got it, $9. So here we go, $9 to the odds, $10 flat, and then the dealer will move your money off of that bet, off of that number, and pay you right here in the come. They'll heal it off just like this, and now you have the option to collect all your money. You can collect all of it, some of it, you could leave a little, press a little, do whatever you want. Whatever you want, you could leave it however you want, okay? Now, there's one last thing that happens with come bets that's good to know. Let's say, for example, he had $5 on the, on, the, on the 6. Let's say on the 6. He had a come bet on 6 with 10 odds, okay? And the dealer went to pay you. Let's say you had another come bet, which is you can just keep another come bet. You can bet as many come bets as you want. You can keep them rolling if you want. And now if another six rolls, the dealer will cut out your bet. So here it's going to pay 12 and 5, $17. And they'll stack it right next to your new come bet and they'll say off and on. Because you have the same flat bet coming on with these odds. The dealer assumes that you want the same odds working because you threw in $10 before. So this is 17 off and on. And then you can go ahead and pick up your payout. You can pick all of it up. Do whatever you want. You can even ask for the odds back if you want. You just can't take this flat bet because, again, this flat bet is a contract bet. All right, last part of this lesson. Let's say, for example, you have three come bets have, been, have gone out on the 9, 8, and 5. And on each of these come bets, you've taken $10 odds. Okay? And then, congratulations, you rolled a 4. All right? So you're going to get 20 plus 10, $30, and then the dealer is going to unmark the point. Okay? Now, there's a very important distinction when it comes to optional bets on a casino table. So optional bets on a base follow the default status of the puck. You see how this puck now says off. So the puck says off, so that means optional bets are off by default so these odds do not work on the come out roll by default you can however call them working and i'm looking around for the button here we go so you could say hey i want all my odds working and the dealer will get a button and turn your odds on here's what happens if one of these numbers rolls congratulations you're a genius and you get paid on the odds so let's say we come out on the five you would get $5 for the flat bet, and you get paid on the odds, 15 and 5, 20 bucks. The downside is if we're coming out, you call your bets on, and a seven rolls, you're going to get your pass line money, right, because 7-Eleven wins here, but you would go ahead and lose everything on the numbers because you had your odds working. What normally happens with a seven, Okay, if you don't call your odds working, is you would get paid here on a pass line, and the dealer will go ahead and return your odds. So they'll put their odds out there, collect them all up, and hand them back to you. Now guess what you can do? Very interesting. A lot of people don't know they can do this. You can do what's called a put bet. 
and especially if you have this. So let's say you did not want to lose out on your 5, 8, and 9. You wanted to keep these working. By the way, I'm explaining come bets to you. This is not a strategy I advocate you actually play at the casino. I'm just explaining how it works. Stay tuned to my other videos or go back into like our YouTube channel and then you can see plenty of strategies. I'm mostly a place better. Follow the place bets. But here we go. This is about come bets. For those of you who just have to come at the casino, these are the bets you want to make. Okay, so last thing, you could go ahead and throw in $15 and say, dealer, leave me up on my 5, 8, and 9. So that $15 replaces the flat bets and they can leave you up on the 5, 8, and 9. And there you have all the come you'll ever need that day working for a win. And we want to win at the casino, don't we? All right, there you go. I'm going to wrap it up. Next up for our students, the dealer's side of combat payouts, placement, order of operations, that type of thing. See you guys. Thank you. Bye.